The self-efficacy theory is really important for understanding success in individuals mm -hmm. because it has this locus of control idea. So I the locus of control simply means where do you as an individual see the control of your life? Is it outside, external to you, or is it in you, internal locus of control? We know that individuals that think external powers have control over my life and there's nothing I can do about it do not succeed mm -hmm. as much as individuals that have that internal locus of control meaning I am the one that decides my destiny my level of income the job I do the way I live my life etc cetera, etc cetera. So it's a really important key for success. If you want to be successful, you have to know this knowledge and be able to develop it consciously. So that's the good news that if you don't have it, if you've been externalizing and thinking there's these powers outside of me that I have no control over, you can start to draw it back to internalize it and understand mm -hmm. that you have the power to change your life, to make decisions. Mm -hmm. And I find that um, anytime you can just check with yourself that anytime you're anxious about something, anytime you're worried about something coming in or what people mm -hmm. are thinking or uh, money, <laughs> uh, where is that money coming from? What we're doing is we're putting the locus of control somewhere out there that there's something outside of me that's going to control my destiny. And I'm here like we were conditioned in the beginning, interacting with the environment, and then the environment has power. And it does to basically create our conditioning. But then when we get older, we need to kind of create our own way. So the beginning, like Young said, the beginning part of life is to build up this conditioning to survive. But then if we want to be successful, we want to like leave the herd, leave the conditioning of our family and the, you know, the psycho uh, socio-economic structure that our family lived in and we want to go to another place we want to do something different we don't want to follow that lineage of career uh, and society we want to be entrepreneurs a lot of our uh, people that do individuation want to become entrepreneurs because it's such a perfect fit for it um, we have to we have to have that control within ourselves we have to be the force in our life um, you know we talked about this also last week in Buddhism, we talked about the idea of, um, you know, how to create an enlightened society mm. and people out in the world trying to fix the world. Like the world is bad. It's gone to crap and we got to fix it and we got to heal the world. But we don't really think that we have the power within ourselves to start within to change the world. Um, and so uh, with success, if like, again, if some some obstacle comes up, are you going to give up and say, see, I have bad luck or the economy is going to stop me or there's not, not enough people that want my service or my products that I'm trying to sell. Uh, my boss isn't going to give me a raise. All that kind of powerlessness that we're waiting for the world to, to give us the success or to give us permission. Mm -hmm. But we have that kind of uh, fundamental inside that, that, that really deep, uh, profound knowing that we can direct it. We can direct it. And that is... That's what brings success. And it's it, it's kind of like uh, when I left the corporate world, I said to um, uh, I said, my friends were like, oh, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to be a hypnotherapist. I don't know if I can do this. I never ran my own business. I said, but, you know, I'm tired of just waiting for my life to change. I want to see what I'm made of. That's what I said. And I just did it to just see what resources I have within myself to change. And that idea has has giving me everything I needed. Just that seed of, I'm going to see what I'm made of. I'm not going to see if the world will accept me uh, or if I can, you know, if the economy is going to participate. I'm going to see what I'm made of. And that really, is that what you're talking about, that locus of control? Yeah. yeah. I learned uh, the hard way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would listen to people and take their advice. Mm. And I got burned a few times early on. Their advice was, you know, don't do that. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. Uh, you know, stick to what's true or has been proven by others to work. Mm -hmm. You know, just follow the rules, in other words, follow the, the herd. And 
that didn't work for me. <laughs> it, it was it wasn't until I stopped listening to people <laughs> and started trusting in my own yeah. internal locus of control that my ideas are good enough and you that's what you should be doing the things that you love and you know are going to be make you happy right they're going to express uh the way you want to work 